welcome back to another episode of Learning with Qua. And today we are going to be turning this room, well, not today only, but this room is going to be turned into the Qua craft room. So it'll be makeup, sewing, and whatever else. There is, let's see, here's the beginning. Here we go. So we've got. I've already got this room. I'll include a video or a picture of how it used to look beforehand. And right now, we've started the caulking on the root or on the ceiling part. And I've started pulling out these. So this is if you're working on a mobile home, trailer, you know, whatever you call it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. See, this is where... This is a mess up that I did. So um, this is something that you want to make sure doesn't really happen. But we also have this. It is all purpose uh, compound. And so it's joint compound. So we'll be filling in all these holes and everything. And getting it nice and painted and stuff. Okay, so here we are. We have our little board thing right here that you can see you want to make sure you have an eraser that is safely in place make sure it's safe you want to have a spatula and first thing you want to do is come over and start scoring scoring the paint line ah! you know what you're gonna take it by hand watch out little bear I'm just going to take it and just score it down. Yes, Barry, I know you want to help. Let's see. I don't know if that worked all that well, but we shall see. Next thing you want to do is take your spatula. Sometimes the nails come with it, sometimes they stay in the wall, it's just depending. If you're able to get them out, I would suggest getting them out, otherwise you can just get a hammer and just uh, nail them into the wall. So here's part of it that's come off. As you can see, there are still some nails in it and stuff. So. Next up, we're going to be doing caulking on all the areas. So let's see. We see that. We see that's the end. So my bad, y'all. Let's see. So what you want to do is you want to get use this Alex Super. Alex Plus uh, acrylic and it's in white and you get this. Let's see. You're gonna get it and you want to cut it at an angle. Oh, I think I broke my little thing, yo. There we go. Definitely not a handy person, so you're seeing that in real time. So what you want to do after you have that, come over here this way, and 
Make sure you get some wet rags. You have your little adapter that goes in there. And it's set. Let's see. So let's give this a go. So basically, you squeeze it. And as you can see, it's finally coming out. And this is a really deep area, so I'm putting extra in here just because I feel comfortable doing that. Usually people just... So you put that in there and you take your finger and you're going to wipe it and you want to make sure that you get all the holes. So as you can see, this one is just stubborn. And then you take it and wipe it like this. No, you got some on the floor, but that's all right because Scrape it up and use it. It's all right. Hello, hello again. So I have finished with the caulking around the floor. I still got to do, you know, uh, the wall joints and stuff. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the ceiling at least. And so this is what I'm using is Valspar Signature Interior Paint and Primer with the Scuff Shield. So you want to make sure you get your little church key. And also I bought this cool little roller kit from Lowe's. I'll try and link it down below for what it was. And it also came with this brush. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the whole ceiling out first and then I'll brush roll it. So that way I have something to stay inside the lines. And I mean, it doesn't really matter if I get it on the walls because the walls are going to be painted a different color, but you know, just trying that. So you take your little trick key, pop your lid, Make sure none of your little key keys come over here and trying to get you. So, this is the color. It's like super bright white. Um, also, another thing that I have, this is full of uh, warm soapy water. Let's see. Yep, see, warm soapy water. And I also got wet rags. So, Let's put this lid over here. Hopefully nothing happens. And let's see, we've got our wet rags. We'll put those right. So many of them. So many of them. So we'll put those right there. Put the church key over here. And this is really a lot of paint, so I wanna move this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it into the paint. Let's see, so let's see. And wipe off the excess on the edge. Do, do, do. Let's see, and I am not a professional painter, so judge all you, all you want, it's all right. And we're already getting it on the top, but it's a very light color. Let's see. I was like, and I'm not putting drop cloths on, on this floor because it's a bare floor, but I do have drop cloths over other stuff in here. So basically this is what I'm gonna be doing is just edging this up. No, no drip, no drips. You wanna make sure that there's no drips. So you just want to make sure that it's nice. You have a nice area to paint on, basically. So, and that's what I'm going to do to this whole room, and then 
to come back with the roller. Okay, so here is an update on how the room is going. Starting to uh, plaster the walls here. So these pieces right here still need to come off. As you can see, this piece right here is like flush with the wall. So I actually need my brother's help to like, I tried doing it, but then it stopped. So started doing, as you've seen, so I'm gonna do this one layer and then it'll be sanded down. And then we'll be doing another layer on top of it. So that way you get a nice smooth texture. And then also when I'm done, well, after I paint, once I finally paint the walls and everything, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same ceiling paint that I used. I'm going to do that for like all the trim on the bottom. And this is what we're using is this USG Sheetrock All-Purpose Joint Compound. And this is the joint. Hi. So we have joint compound here. This is what it looks like. Got a nice spatula right here. You just dip your spatula in. Basically, so you dip it in and you want to like work it all around. Make sure it's all nice. And it's got a nice texture to it. And if it's a little bit dry, you can add a little bit of water to it to, to moisten it up. Let's see. So here is my spatula. And basically, we're going to take this. So through here, what I'm doing is I'm putting it on the seam of the wall. I don't have the tape. I should have bought the wall tape. I didn't know about it until today, apparently. So basically, you just want to make sure that you smooth it. Hello, welcome back again. Uh, we're still doing this room. Well, I'm still doing it. Um, as you can see, I'm looking ghostly white and the reason why, because as you can see, I've been sanding, I've vacuumed, there's still stuff, but I've sanded and everything. But I wanna show you uh, something that happened while I was sanding. So you can see I was sanding and a piece of this just literally just started coming off. So I wanted to show you guys, get my little putty. Let's see, put this over here. And I'm literally just taking like a little finger dip and grabbing the putty knife. And we just want to fill this in and make sure that it's hopefully not going to do that again. 
and I'll be sanding this so for me it doesn't matter the thickness you really want it to be like paper thin so that way you're not like wasting all your time but because this is a hole right here yeah so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna take a putty knife go down like that cross cross and now it is smooth um, until I mess it up. There we go. There we go. Nice and smooth. So just got to wait for that to dry. And I need to take off this curtains here in those two pieces and fill those in. So fun times.